Oh my gosh. Jesus. Guys, there is a second layer. What's going on everybody? Jay and Bree here. And today you can see that we are in our special one to four room. You should probably check out that channel. The link's in the description down below. And it's also the pinned comment because we're going to be doing more videos on that. People loved it. I like doing it. They I did? I don't think you do though. I love doing whatever you want to do. Mm-hmm. And how? So Rinko Manto AIO. It's, I don't think you've, have you ever done a right, you have. Missed the just right one where you did the RTA, but. I don't even remember. Oh, well, that's good. So this is not the box that you're going to get this in. This is a collector's box. I kind of love the box, though. The packaging is beautiful. So I actually reached out to this company. I was like, yo, what's up, man? We haven't worked together. Like, we got some stuff. I said, all right. There's a knife oh. over there, Jay. Oh, wow. Oh, there's two. That is a beautiful, beautiful box. All right. Wow. There are two devices in here. So apparently, wow. Oh my goodness. You guys have to see this. Oh. So there are two different ones. Can I show them? Yeah, go ahead. Oh my goodness. Look at these. This one says Manto AO Pro. Manto AO Ultra. Okay, Ultra sounds better. I know there's an adapter to use the Dot AIO. There is the billet box bridge. And there is a lot of coils. We're going to try out the coils. So the descriptions are on the box. The output power is 10 to 80 watts on both. Coil resistance is the same. Material, this one also has um, a material I've never heard of called PBT. This one has a bigger pod capacity of 5.2 on the Ultra. The Pro only has 3.5, uh, and that's about it. So what color is this, yellow or green? Uh, I would say it, it's, gonna, it's gonna cause fights in the comment section. Okay. I believe it's yellow, but the camera probably sees it as green. I can tell you just by looking at it, I love the feel of it. It's like a rubberized plastic. God, that feels good. Wow, that is... Ooh, it's actually extremely light. So, in our box, we get a Manto AO cartridge, we get some coils, and then we get a Manto AO RBA coil. So the differences between the two of them, you could tell just by looking at it, one is going to be designed for the billet box-esque tank, and then the other one is going to be designed for their AIO. They actually have a Boro tank in here that uses their coil. I love that. This tank is absolutely adorable. And you do not need to take the drip tip out to get that tank in. Interestingly enough because it's spring-loaded on the bottom. Oh. On the one that used their proprietary tank, you do not actually have a nut that comes out. It just kind of, it's a, it's a, it's a little bit a pain in the ass to grab. There's a oh, is this what this for? That's probably what that's for. I, I have no idea what this up. is for. And when you're ready to put it in, you just kind of push this down like so, and it just slides in. So that's easier. Versus this one has the nut. And what I'm going to use is not the rebuildable. I want to use their big tank. So you actually get a bunch of different options. Right. This is going to be for the dot AIO. Oh my gosh. Jesus. Guys, there is a second layer. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There is a second layer to this box. Guys, there's panels galore. There's just all of the panels. I love this show. Oh, this show. Okay. So These are your other panels. This what color is this? Green and yellow. I think it's yellow, but it's also kind of green. Because people, that's that's the issue. It's green is yellow. You so know. you also get black and purple. I like the black. Mine, I get red, black, and the yellow green. All right, let's uh, fill up a tank and try out the coil. Yee! So I'm going to be using their coil gem. Easy enough. What coils have we got? We got a 0.05 and a 0.3. The baggie that you get is to do the rebuildable so you can screw it on. This is my rebuildable. You're not going to be using the rebuildable. No, but he's so cute. He is adorable, but then that is... Where this one's you... mine. You get the full-on tank. I get the rebuildable that can Manta go inside of here. Manta rebuildable. Oh. Oh. Are they the same coil? Let's see. 
You are so bad at taking stuff you out. You gotta watch your mouth. Let me see. You do such good work. They are the same coil, no? Yeah. Okay. Just kind of slides in. Mine's a little wibbly wobbly in there, but I think once you put the base on, it won't be. Oh, you know what? I should do it the other way. I regret my life's choices. Brinko, there's a heads up to you. I'm going to tell you right now, I will be using the hell out of this. Send me some coils and I'll be the one promoting this in all of my lives. So when you get something like this, where there is threading on the bottom of the coil and there is threading on the base, instead of just shoving it in there and screwing this on, you should screw it onto the base first to make sure that it makes complete contact with this. Otherwise, it could not work at all. No comment, because I didn't think that it was threaded. And I put it in, and I was trying to adjust the airflow. I was like, ooh, I'm going to have to rip them apart. But the reason why I can't adjust the airflow is because the coil was loose. And then for your airflow direction, you'll want it to be to the side. So you'll want to line that guy up. Because the airflow holes in this guy is on the side. Filling this up is fairly simple. There is a fill port on the top. We're going to let that sit for about five minutes. Not really. A fun fact for you. You really don't need to wait five minutes. Most of these coils, because the ports are so large. That is attractive looking. The screen is very nice. Goes all the way up to 80 watts. Wow. You do not have a head count on your screen. One, two, three. You have power, RBA, nickel, titanium, stainless steel, color. And that is a wheel. Mine just turned on. I gotta check the atomizer. Ooh. On the bottom, there's little gaps or no? On yeah. mine, there is. So one of the problems with integral drip tips, when I'm using this, I'm getting check atomizer because I cannot tighten down this nut anymore. All right, now you got messy hands. Look at you. So this is one of the problems you have with integral tips. You saw it wasn't firing. Now, now it does. The, there's no real way to like grip it and grind it because they're slippery. They're drip tips, which is why I've made this drip tip right here. Ah, yeah. I'm just going to plug my own shit in here. All right. So let's vape it. You good to go? Sure it's working? Yeah. Okay. So extremely simple menu. You just have those different types of metals for the coils and then you could adjust the color. Let's vape it. Let's see how it goes. Okay, that's not enough of power, and that's a lot of airflow. I'm gonna need a lot of juice in my mouth because you open it up and broke the seal. Mm, that's delicious. It's all juice. That's not on wrinkles. That that wrinkles. That's not wrinkles' fault. It's because she broke the seal. Trying to be helpful. She was nice. And she got it all over her hands. How is it? You don't like the flavor. She hates the flavor. <laughs> Wait, why, don't, why don't you like it? That's the flavor. Be honest. <laughs> Let's talk about the product, not the juice, yeah? Oh, I love the button. Mine does not light up like that. That's nice. Okay, forget about the juice. We get it. You don't like right side up. You're a big Saito fan. Got it. Um, well, she likes my right side up, not the other right side up. Yeah, but we can't say that. Yes, you can, because you don't like it. It's that simple. Why can't you say that? Because that could hurt sales. Sales of what? Who's buying that shit? I don't know. Someone in Europe? <laughs> Doubtful. Okay. So, check atomizer. All right. That's so weird. It's because... There we go. Okay. I'm going to give you my opinion on this, and then you can talk about yours. First off, the design of the mod is really nice. I'm, I'm not going to take away from that. I like the feel of it. I like the texture. I like the different panels. Although basic, they're just simple and they work. On hers, she has little tabs to pull up the doors. On mine, I do not. Find me a tab somewhere on that. There are no tabs to pull up the door. So in order to grab that,
Okay, but your tabs are on the body of the mod. Mine are significantly easier to open. Yours are on the door only, okay. and they're only like, look, a hair thin. And mine's yeah. pretty thick. So again, go back to the tabs. The tabs on the Pro model versus the Ultra, they're easier to grab. That doesn't make this bad. It's just a pain in the ass to remove these tabs, especially something that bites the nails. I like how you can see the battery on the inside. There's a lot that I like about this. But let me tell you the biggest problem I have with this is the tip that it comes with. If it came with a nut and a screw and a drip tip, I would prefer that over this. It's not just them for the integral tips. A lot of them are like this because you can't really get them and grind them down because they're slippery. So is there a nut in there? You could have just showed me. Um, no, but there's this. But I don't see how that's helpful, sir. No, no, that's not. That's this not. is from your side. Yeah, yeah, that's not. So it having a nut would have made this much better, which you could just fix on your own and add your own uh, nut from a different billet box instead of using their integral tip. I, I like the tank. I like the coil that it comes with. It vapes well. Brie does not like this flavor. I love everything. There it goes again. Check atomizer. It's hard for me not to be angry at Rinko for this. I'm not going to give him shit because that's integral drip tips. It's just a, it's a, it's a, let me see. So okay. at first I was kind of jealous of your pattern, but I like mine better. His is more of like a chevron and then a couple crosses like, like that. Mine's all triangles. I like the triangles. And her mod reminds me of the stubby AIO, the design of it, versus mine is more like a s more square billet box. I like your design better. Yeah, and yours has a metal plate at the top. Mine's just all plastic. I kind of like the Pro over the Ultra. Same. Although one uses a billet box True. tank, the other one yeah. uses a proprietary one, which could be used with the dot AIO. Let's see, did it vape again? No, nope, now it's working. That's the one negative thing I would have to say. So just swap out their integral tip for a regular billet box nut. That's it. Uh, other than that, I like the design. I like the feel. I like the panels. The panels are nice. I prefer her model over mine, 100%. I just like the style of it. So if you're gonna pick up either of these, which one would you recommend? The Pro. I like the design of it, and I like the feel of it compared to the Ultra. Even though it's a proprietary tank? Yeah, and if I was using, like, a billet box style tank, then obviously the Ultra, but if I'm getting it for the coils, then the Pro, because of the form factor and the appearance. I like the buttons on yours, too, how they're round. Oh, yours are square. square. <gasps> wow. So you like the chubby, you like the Pro model over the Ultra. Yeah. It's nice. I. It's working now, just... Just being honest, man, it's the integral tip that I don't like. Other than that, I like the feel of it. I like the texture. It is a proprietary chip. goes to 80 watts. There is no hit counter on there, though. What's that about, dude? You like it? Yeah, because it also lights up when I push the button. That's welcoming. I like that. And I... I. How are we doing this? How you want me? Uh, ew. <laughs> <laughs> I've kept it real. What way do I go? You go that way. Oh, oh, we're separating. Yeah, of okay. course. Ready? I've kept it real. And I've kept it real. Have, Have you, you? Bree? J. Out. Up. Bang. Got it. Nailed it. Good.